Hello all, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video, we will see few questions on steady state error which had appeared in previous uh, competitive examinations. Okay, because uh, these questions appear frequently in uh, every competitive examination, so I thought uh, I'll just cover a few examples how to solve the questions related to steady state error. Okay, so let's see the first question. A unit ramp input is applied to the system shown in the figure below. The steady state error in its output is. So we have four options. A is 0 and second is 0.5. C is 1 and the fourth option is 2. Okay. So as you can see this is a typical control system block. This is G of S and R of S ramp is given. Okay. So you can write R of S is equal to 1 over S square because this is the ramp input and then we have G of S is equal to 2 upon S into S plus 1. Okay. So we know the steady state error formula that is ESS is equal to limit of S tends to 0 S R S upon 1 plus g of s because this is negative feedback with gain equal to 1 in the feedback path okay so let's substitute here so in this case this is our r of s so this will become limit of s tends to 0 s into 1 over s square upon 1 plus g s which is 2 over s into s plus 1 uh, let me take a new page so let's simplify this we get limit of s tends to 0 this will get become 1 by s upon just take it over here we get s into s plus 1 plus 2 over s into s plus 1 so you can write it here further simplification 1 over s into s into s plus 1 upon s into s plus 1 plus 2 so this s gets cancelled we get limit of s tends to 0 s plus 1 in the numerator in the denominator this is s square plus s plus 2 so the simple mathematics so on solving this this will become since s is uh, tends to 0 here we just substitute the value of s equal to 0 we get 1 in numerator and this is 0 plus 0 plus 2 this is 1 by 2 hence the steady state error of the output is 0.5 okay so the right answer is option b Okay, so this is uh, one mark question in uh, any competitive examination. So you just need to know the formula for steady state error and then you need to apply the limits accordingly. Okay, so let's see another example now. Let's see another example. A unity feedback control system has forward path transfer function which is given GS is equal to k upon s into s plus 2. Now the design specification is that the steady state error due to unit ramp input is 0 0.05 the value of k allowed is. So we have four options a 20, b 40, c 10, d 80. So let's draw a control system block diagram based on the above inputs so we have a feedback we have a gs block which is k upon s into s plus 2 okay and there is output c of cs and this is unity feedback control system so if uh, nothing is given you can imagine that it is negative feedback okay 
so this is our r of s and this is e of s plus minus okay so this is the control system block based on the above inputs so what this says the steady state error of the output is already calculated and it is ess is equal to 0 0.05 so we need to find what is the value of k which is allowed in this i mean what should be the value of k such that the steady state error will be 0 0.05 okay so let's see that and also one more thing r of s is ramp so in laplace on uh, the laplace function of ramp input is 1 over s square for unit ramp input okay so this is the corresponding laplace function for unit ramp input so let's see that we have a steady state error formula that is ess is equal to limit of s tends to 0 s r s upon 1 plus g of s okay so let's simplify this limit of s tends to 0 s into 1 over s square upon 1 plus k upon s into s plus 2 so again this will get cancelled we are left with 1 over s upon s into s plus 2 plus k upon s into s plus 2 so ess is already given so let's put it out here 0 0.05 limit of s tends to 0 so we need to simplify this block 1 over s into s s plus 2 upon s s plus 2 plus k okay so this will get cancelled we get limit of s tends to 0 s plus 2 upon s square plus 2s plus k so this is equal to 0 0.05 so uh, on the right hand side this will become 2 because you substitute the value of s equal to 0 here so this will become 2 upon this will get 0 and this will become 0 this will be 2 by k so we have 2 over k is equal to 0 0.05 so k is 2 over 0 0.05 so you can simplify here find 2 10 raised to minus 2 this will become 2 into 100 upon 5 ok so 5 so k is equal to 40 so the right answer is option b ok so this was asked for 2 marks so everything will be simple just you need to know the formula ok as i said in the previous video so these are the two examples so if you have any doubts regarding steady state error how to calculate and all you can use the comment section we'll make another video for any tough questions which you ask okay so thanks for watching guys